Hey everyone, we're going to do a river smally minnow today. Uh, in the vise, we have a 1 8 ounce freestyle head. The color is mossy craw. Again, I'm using the Nova Stone powder paint. I'm sorry, but I really like it. Uh, I don't really got to say too much about it now. Go over to uh, SDG Lorecraft. Adam did a awesome video with a complete breakdown of all the colors. And he did it in a fluid bed. Uh, plus this going right out of the jar. Uh, over a white base. Over a black base. There's nothing left out. Uh, so... I don't have to explain this. Go over and look at that video. I'll leave a link in the description that you can check out for yourself. But I'm doing this River Smalley deal um, because I did the Smalley Minnow before. And I just wanted to show you that like, this is originally how it was. It was on an 8-ounce ball head jig uh, with a 2 watt hook. And I've since made it in 1 16th using the same ball jig mold that uh that takes a larger hook i'll leave a link to that in the description um i've used marabou bucktail uh feathers craft fur there's no end to what you can do with this and it's so effective especially when you have those pressured fish or clear water and they kind of get, you know, uh, conditioned to paddle tails and grubs. This is what I like to throw. So eight ounce freestyle jig, mossy cross the color. It's got a two watt Gamma Gatsu 4124 Big River jig hook heavier wire than you know a normal sickle ultra sharp fantastic hook so we're going to start now we're going to take a little bit of a super glue brush on and just go along the shank of the hook and we're going to use some two tendon air flat wax nylon thread in olive get our base started and I'm gonna go just a little bit above the hook point and we'll work our way back up and then we're gonna put our tailing material in which I'm using this um, green over olive brown with black barring it's the tiger barred rabbit strips i will leave a link to this in the description because the pattern what i call this is olive brown minnow nothing fancy and for those that wonder why i keep naming the different color patterns um it's due to the fact i can't remember anything so Having a name for it makes it easier for me to remember, you know, especially when I'm, it's something that I haven't done in a while. Uh, all I got to do once I remember the name, the rest of it's easy. So we're going to take our strips, our rabbit strips, our tiger board rabbit strips. And you take notice, I cut the hair off of this little section right here. And that's what we're going to do. We want this to go about oh, anywhere from two to two and a half inches beyond the bend of the hook. So the, the furthest point back is where you're, you're looking at. For me, uh, because I've been doing it so long and I've tied so many of these things, I just kind of eyeball it. But that's when you measure it, that's what it comes out to right around anywhere from like two to two and a half inches is fine 
and I, I change the, the length up depending on the material I'm using. So I got this just buttoned down a little bit and then I'm going to put this one on top. And that's why I stripped the hair off of the, the hide there because I knew I was going to go over top because I, I'm doing basically a split tail minnow which is the two rabbit strips. It's really good as far as the action is concerned. So I'm gonna just broadly tie it in to get to where I need to go. And now I'm gonna crank it down once I'm satisfied with the position. Okay, now the next material. This is sort of like chenille, but it's a little different. It's called crystal braid, and it is a braided thing. This is olive black, and you can see there's black in there that's wrapped around. It's almost like two chenilles uh, wrapped around each other, braided together which that's why, probably why they call it crystal braid. <laughs> so anyway, what I do is I take the end of that, because this is some heavier stuff. This isn't, you know, if you were to use regular chenille, you would, you know, probably double your wraps. And all I do is just cut a little section away and cut it. So I have a nub there to tie to. I have to tie it, tie that in pretty tight. And now I'm going to start wrapping. And this is why I don't have any flash because this um, olive black uh, crystal braid is flashy to begin with. And don't worry if uh, you don't have perfect wraps because uh, you're, it's going to look different. Every one you do will be a little different just because of the way this material is. Get a couple wraps in there so I could cut this free. And you, there we go. Yeah, these smally minnows are just, they're, they're fun to do. They're easy to tie, but they're super effective. Um, again, like for me, you could use this uh, with the rabbit, uh, with the rabbit strips. You could use this in the winter time as a a uh, shouldn't say winter. I should say like early spring or late fall when the water's colder. You can use it almost like a grub. Fish it real slow and just uh, bounce it along the bottom. Give it a little bit of a drag. And the reason you could do that with this is the the fact that the rabbit hair stands up. So because it's so buoyant when you're fishing it, you can stop this dead and it's just, you know, positioned off the bottom there. It sort of stands out like a sore thumb. The fish can't help but notice it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a loom water-based head cement and dip it in there and just go around and make sure we have a little bit on there to cover it if you have a good whip finish you you don't have to worry about it 
Now, we'll take this out of the device and show you what we have. And when these get wet, they it, it looks a little off right now, but uh, once they get wet, it'll narrow down and it'll look a little bit more uh, in proportion to the size. But just a straight up reel works. Uh, it, it truly is with rabbit hair. Um, rabbit and bucktail you've got a full 12 month jig there uh now for me my water's froze over but when the water doesn't freeze over this is effective all the time and it's so simple and you could you could take this one jig and make so many different kinds using different chenille different tails um basically make it for any situation you want but there you have it, our River Smalley Minnow. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.